Hey everyone, this is Eric Hopes, Mobile Learning Specialist for Lampasas ISD, here to show you how easy it is to quickly generate a QR code that links to anything you put in a Google Doc. First thing I'm going to do is go to google.com, sign in, click on the little dots, and go to Google Drive, which is where I am right now. Then I'm going to go ahead and create a new Google Doc. So I would go new, Google Doc. Give it a title, put in whatever text or instructions I want to have in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the share settings so that anybody with a link can view the material that I put in my Google Doc. So I click on the little share. And if you don't have Get Shareable Link because you haven't turned on uh, automatic link sharing, you can always click on the Advanced button where it says private only you can access click change and select anybody with the link can view now i'm just giving them uh anybody with a link can view um, just view only access but if you wanted to give students the ability to edit or comment you could do that as well simply from that drop down all right so i click on save gives me a link to share so i'm going to do control c to copy it. Um, you can try right clicking on it to copy it as well. Sometimes Google lets you do that and other times it wants you to use the keyboard shortcuts, Control or Command C. And now that I've got that link copied to my clipboard, all I need to do is go to a QR generator to create it. So I'm going to say done. I'm going to open up a new tab. There are lots of QR generators out there, but we're going to go to createqrcode.appspot.com. And then we're going to just click in that space and uh, right click and paste. And if it doesn't give you the right click and paste, you can always do Control or Command V. So there's our link. We can adjust the image size for our QR code to whatever we want. Default of 300 by 300 is nice and big. If you get it too small, it can create problems with them scanning. Um, so I wouldn't recommend going less than 150 by 150. So I just uh, click on Create QR Code. And now we've got a QR code. So from there, I can just right click on it and save the image as, uh, or copy the image and paste it wherever I want it, whether it's my website, whatever the case may be. Um, save image as actually gives you a, a downloaded version of your QR code. So you'll probably want to retitle it with whatever it links to, just for management purposes. Uh, and then you can do whatever you want with the QR code, print it out, put it on your website, uh, whatever the case may be. Hope this was helpful. Uh, let anybody in curriculum know if you have any questions. Thanks for your time.